with the new year comes new laws in the state of Florida, right? Happens every year. One of those, though, will be good news for many commuters. Yeah, a new law will provide account credits to drivers who frequently use toll roads across the state. WPTV News Channel 5's Kate Hussey spoke to people affected and dug into the bill itself to show us how it could impact you. We've all been there. You're driving on the Florida Turnpike, about to pass through yet another toll to pay yet another fee. But starting January 1st, do that enough times and you'll get a bit of a break. It's the dreaded sign on Florida's roads. A sign despite its logo, Joseph Gaskin doesn't feel too sunny about. It's a real kick in the, in the shins. He's talking about Florida's tolls. As the owner of a construction company, he sees quite a lot of them. It cost me a fortune out here and the price of the fuel, the gas has gone up. So we need something back, don't we? He's not the only one who feels this way. I mean, I get on the turnpike every day for work. So for me, it's at least five times a week. I go to school in the University of Florida, but my whole family lives in Miami. So I'm constantly driving back and forth between Gainesville and Miami. And That toll costs Isabel Nadal $22 each way, several times a month. But she and the others are about to get a bit of a break. We need it, don't we? That break, a new law taking effect January 1st. Senate Bill 6A, it will give Floridians who drive through state tolls 35 or more times a month 50% of what you paid back in your account as a credit. Unbelievable how much it's costing us. So if we could get 50% back, that'd be a real saving for us. We really need it. Erin Maroon, one of many who got this email. That looks like spam. I might delete it. And then I kept reading and I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> telling her she qualifies for the credit. The minute I realized it wasn't spam, I just looked into it more and I realized that this is going to be great for me. According to FDOT, more than 1.2 million Floridians will qualify, saving them on average $400 this year. That's going to help me a lot. Unfortunately, there's just one minor roadblock. The toll break only lasts a year. Is that it? I didn't know nobody told me that. What, one year and then it's over? No. I did not know that. I didn't look that far into it. Um, that's kind of, it's kind of bad, but at least it's something. State Senator Nick DeSigley, who introduced the bill, saying in a statement, quote, this bill is a common sense solution that provides relief at a time when Floridians need it most. And Isabel agrees with the amount she pays in gas and tolls. I'm literally all over Florida from the top to the bottom. She'll take any help she can get, even for just a year. Honestly, any little thing helps. If I get to see my family a little often, it, it's worth it. FDOT Secretary Jared Perdue also praising this bill. It comes on the heels of another SunPass savings program that started back in September but expires this Saturday. Reporting in Palm Beach County, I'm Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5.